market volatility over the September quarter has been very much a result of the market trying to second guess when the Federal Reserve is going to start raising rates. We know that the quantitative easing program is going to end in October. It has done its job. It has kept long-term rates at a very stable and attractive level for companies to go out there and really manage their balance sheet appropriately. But now we're in a situation where that quantitative easing is going to be removed and the pressure, the long-term buying support that the Federal Reserve has been providing for longer term rates is no longer going to be there. That means that longer term rates can start to move higher. And it is a situation where we are seeing the US economic recovery really gain momentum. But there are still a lot of imbalances that are in the US economy. And the Federal Reserve are very much aware of what the interest rate policy settings that they have at the moment can cause in terms of making these imbalances worse. Now the markets have got wind of this over the September quarter. That's why in July you started to see some wobbles in the marketplace. Then in August there was some reassurance that rates weren't actually going to rise just in the short term. But at the same time, in the month of September, some decent economic numbers continue to come out of the US, which does mean that the market is starting to think much more so about an earlier rise in interest rates in the US, as opposed to waiting for the second half of 2015 before the Fed start to do something. We are in a situation that at the moment we're seeing an uprising in relation to nationalism. I can't remember a time in my experience where there have been so many demonstrations, displays and political influence in relation to independence for a lot of different nations. When we look at what's happening in Europe, there are a lot of nationalist based parties in the different countries that are gaining more and more influence over the political regime of those countries and hence the political regime of Europe itself. Now if that was to actually gain an influence, the pressure on the Euro as a mechanism to keep all these European countries together is going to come under a massive amount of pressure. And we need to be able to sort of see whether or not that's going to play out over the course of the next 18 months. If events come out of left field and cause a lot of risk disruption, then the markets very much have the potential for a much more significant sell-off over the course of the next six months. At the same time, if there is a managed approach to the way that these issues are dealt with and the markets are able to absorb all the information and nothing new comes out of left field, then the markets can very much adopt some of this sort of information. That said, we are in a situation where equity markets themselves are already over some of the sort of fair value assumptions that we would say. In fact, probably a little bit expensive. We have a very high credit rating. We do have a strong political system. We have a strong regulatory system. So therefore, things like our banks, our bonds, and even our resource companies are very attractive assets to own for a global investor. So commodity prices have come under a lot of pressure, which means that the likes of resource companies that rely on commodity prices to generate their revenue are coming under the same pressure. So when you think about it, if I'm an overseas investor looking at the Australian marketplace, over the course of September, I've probably lost about 10% of my value. And that's in combination with the way that the share market has performed, mainly through the banks and resources, but also the way that the Australian dollar has performed. Falling from about 93 cents down to about 87 cents against the US dollar is a significant impact in relation to the way overseas investors have been able to generate a return. That causes an onslaught of selling. And that's the situation that we're seeing coming up to the end of September.